Big hello to everybody, Tin Man from the International Alternative Energy Centre. Okay, what's happening here? Russ is getting himself one of them noble gas popper units. And it is his belief that it will run and do what they say it will do. And if he says it will work, then I strongly believe it will. So what's happening here is um, I have told him I will give him my motor design that I've been waiting to use for some years now if uh, he gives us the power to push the crank around. So I'm just going to use my timer to fire the cylinder. Now what I have here, of course we have our flywheel here, we have our crankshaft here and of course our conrod and inside is our piston which in this case is a magnet with a coil acting as an electromagnet and so this is going to simulate the popper kit Russ is getting a normal internal combustion engine of course has these crankshaft would be vertical with the conrod on top of that, a piston on top of that and when the piston fires it wants to push straight down instead of turning the crank. Now this is one of the reasons an ICE is very inefficient. So what we needed to do was be able to offset the cylinder, have the crank at 90 degrees so the piston and conrod were pushing on the crank at 90 degrees when it had its full power and of course turning it into rotational energy. Now, as you would know, a normal internal combustion engine, when the gases are compressed and the piston is at top, is when it is most volatile. Unfortunately, that sends all its energy straight down without um, turning the crank. And of course as the crank starts to turn the energy left in the cylinder becomes less and less. Well, this way we wanted to deliver all that energy when the crankshaft is 90 degrees out. Now you are probably saying well there's no way in hell that's going to turn. Um, well it doesn't turn. Inside the conrod here is a magic little part that's very readily available. Um, and you can get them to handle up to three to four thousand foot pounds, which is more than enough. It is called a sprag clutch. Um, and this is how the system works. I've been waiting for something to come along to drive it, and this popper engine seems to be what will go right here. So, what Russ is getting in this situation can indeed be turned into a working motor. So we've got our run battery here, this is of course just going to run the coil. Our timing unit is going to connect the power to the coil. I've just stuck a little LED here and of course having a coil that's switching on and off we can collect the back EMF if we wish to and charge another battery with it. So I'll hook the timer up and we'll watch it go. So you can see how it operates. Now I know it's only a plastic flywheel but it's a fair bit of weight to get spinning instantly like that. Now we are using very very little power there at the moment. As you can see we're definitely getting back EMF as well. Now the more load we require from the motor it's just a matter of pulsing the piston a few more times so we can indeed speed it up the flywheel will pretty much roll, remain the same speed when it's not under load So there you have it Russ, this will be your little popper unit right here, hooked up to my engine design 
and at all times we get maximum thrust through the crankshaft and turn all of that power from the cylinder into rotational force. So that's how that works. Like I said, it's a very versatile setup this. We just pulse it for the amount of torque we need. We need more torque, we pulse it quicker. There is also another torque setting on this thing. You will see here on the crank, there's one, two, three, and around the back there's one more hole. Without changing motor sizes, if we need a stronger motor, we simply move the conrod to the outside hole. If we want more revs, and don't need as much horsepower we move it to the inside hole so we can change the size of the motor without changing anything about the motor except shifting one bolt into either hole that we need and of course we would just move the cylinder over so it's vertical with the system so that is another good thing about it. We want to put it in a car, small car, we put it in here. We can use a shorter stroke, less power, um, or a smaller cylinder and run a small car. We want more power or more torque, we go out to the outside and we have a truck engine. So that's it. That's how she works, Russ. So now it's up to you, buddy. Get that kit in. Get on to them, tell them you need it straight away. We've got a machine to put it on. Cheers from the Tin Man. <laughs>